Hey and welcome to Not Only Hollywood. Today I'm going to review Fly Me to Saitama from 2019. This is a Japanese comedy. In a class system in Japan, there is a particular group that is looked down upon and they come from Saitama. I think you pronounce Saitama, I don't know. These are the losers that everyone hates. But then a handsome man shows up at school who will change everything. And along the way he falls in love with a young lady who is a real snob. Fly Me to the Saitama is based on a Japanese manga from the 80s I've never heard of. The movie didn't fall in taste. I couldn't get into this universe as the central characters look so stupid with their ugly costumes and feminine men. Yeah, I know, we are in Japan. But even after all these years, I still can't handle it. It's too much for a viking from Norway. <laughs> the only reason I wanted to see the movie was Fumini Kaido. I love this actress, but she's not good here. She overacts too much in this movie. Had I not known it was her, I could have thought an amateur actor played the character. She is unrecognizable. Not even Fumini Kaido can save this movie. The history of the different prefectures is interesting and I laughed when the different prefectures have strange stories to tell and their strange customs. But there's so much dialogue and overacting. The movie doesn't find the rhythm, there is too much dialogue and silly characters that for me didn't work. Couldn't they at least have dropped the silly costumes? It's embarrassing to watch. I understand why they do it, but the costumes stink. The costumes stick out too much. Ugly costumes. When I saw some pictures from the movie, I realized that this isn't a movie for me. And I was right. It's a shame because there's a lot of interesting things here. And the movie has charm in several scenes. But these silly costumes and feminine men did so much damage and the pace could have been so much better. Too much talking, too many feminine men. From 1 to 10, I give Fly Me to the Saitama a 4 out of 10. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.